If not, then uh, um, I will have a, a quick introduction to OGC API processes or the, the former in the former generation. It's called Web Processing Service. That's uh, WPS. I'm still in this graphic, so I made that a bit in rush and I was not uh, changing uh, the the word, but the, the, the principle is, is still the same. So what we are uh, able to do here is that on the right side, you see a, a user or it's a client, uh, which is kind of giving a request up into a, a cloud, which is uh, in the in the middle, the green one, uh, where uh, code is uh, deployed and uh, get, uh, and and, uh, and processes. So analytical um, data analytics uh, can be uh, executed. And then on the left side, there is there are uh, data which are then on request being um, uh, being fetched and processed and then uh, after uh, after the uh, the process has been finished the uh, the output result is 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 giving back to to the user uh, as an as an url next slide so that's uh, kind of the principle so so how that works that it's a uh, um, very wide use so OGC API processes is um, is very important for it, uh, especially in in the domain where I am very familiar with I'm said in in climate and climate computation or then also currently I'm at the uh, second uh, obser uh, climate observation conference in in Darmstadt so that's why I'm here in a in a hotel room and uh, these are uh, these are uh, uh, processes or data analytics which are normally dealing with a lot of uh, uh, a huge amount of of data which are not uh, movable anymore so you have to bring the um, the analytics to the data so into the cloud into the cloud services instead of uh, downloading the data so that's the possibility that you can um, process the data in in the cloud with with these uh, OGC API processes, and on that on that side you can see that that you have a client side, so which is which is a user who is submitting a job, and then on the OGC API um, uh, definition you have uh, a get capability and a request capability, and then uh, the the output which is then also getting uh, where you are getting your your results back. And as an uh, another um, kind of side effect, um, you can operate as a client uh, from a very low bandwidth, where the huge computation is uh, being made in a in a high performance environment. So on the on the server side, and that enables and that makes it very important, especially for countries in. Uh, in, in in developing regions, so uh, kind of Africa, South South America, uh, Central Asia, where the bandwidth or the technical uh, equipment is is generally not on an, on a very good standard. Uh, you can execute and you can get uh, access uh, access to information in the same way that we are kind of doing in. Uh, in the uh, developed country, so in in Europe itself. Uh, make uh, the next slide. Right, that's the uh, that's the um, the, uh, the definition of the OGC API processes. Um, yeah, you have the uh, the performance and that the execution, <coughs> uh, the results and that, and um, uh, where where you are defining the uh, uh, the 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 frame uh, so that then in the cloud the process can be executed with the with the right data and the right uh, well for example the thresholds or whatever you need for executing the appropriate process. Next slide. 